Explore, explore, we're all about it. Explore, 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 explore. God's word, don't doubt it. Explore, explore. We've got the Bible beat, so get on your feet. It's time to sing and praise. God's word is true. Jesus is there for you. It's time to sing and praise. Explore, explore, we're all. Explore, explore, God's word, don't doubt it, explore, explore. The more we go, the more we grow, it's time to sing and praise. Jesus and you and your friends too, it's time to sing, it's time to sing and praise. Hey everyone, welcome to Explore. So I hope you all have been having a great week. So this week, we'll be continuing on our, on our series, Trusting in God. So, before we get started, who can remember what we talked about last week? Yes, we talked about Joseph, Jesus' earthly father, and how he trusted in the Lord. So, before we get started with this week, let's pray and get into worship. Everyone close your eyes. God, thank you so much for this opportunity for all of us to get together and learn more about you and learning how we should trust in you, Lord. Thank you so much and thank you for keeping us safe. Amen. Okay, everyone, let's get up and let's start pr pr worshiping. Okay. Hey, okay, everyone, let's get up and let's start worshiping.
Wow guys, that sure was a great worship session, wasn't it? So, I'm not going to tell you guys too much about today's story, but do you guys want to know who the story is about this week? So, last week we talked about Joseph, and this week we're going to hear a bit more about Mary. So, let's get into it. A long time ago, in the town of Nazareth, was a young girl named Mary. Now she was just like us. She did her chores, she was kind to people, and she loved God. Mary was due to be engaged to Joseph. That means she was going to get married to him. One day, while Mary was going about her day, an angel suddenly appeared to her. She was so taken aback, before she could say anything, the angel said to her, that she is favored by God and that he is with her. Mary was surprised. She was trying so hard not to be afraid because after all, she was just like us. She was wondering, what does the angel want? Why is the angel here? The angel quickly reassured Mary and said, do not be afraid for God has found favor with you. The angel then told her that she was going to have a baby boy and that she was supposed to name him Jesus. Now Mary was very confused. A baby? How? She wasn't even married. Because back then, people could only have children if they were married. The angel knew that Mary was trying to figure all of this out. So the angel told her that the Holy Spirit would perform a miracle. And because of that, this baby that she will carry will be the Son of God. Mary still couldn't quite understand what she was hearing or how all of this was going to happen. But when she could finally speak, she said to the angel, I am the Lord's servant. May your words to me be fulfilled. Mary's desire to serve God was greater than her fear. Now, there are times when we also experience fear or being scared when it's time to fulfill God's promises in our lives. We have a lot of questions just like Mary did, but we can find courage in Mary's story. She trusted God and let him lead her and direct her. Mary believed that God would keep his promises. Wow guys, that sure was an amazing story. I sure would have also been very fearful if I was in Mary's shoes, but luckily she continued to trust in the Lord and he helped her through it. So doesn't that make you guys think if, I were, if you are afraid that the Lord would also not help you through it? I sure think so. So let's all close our eyes, end in prayer, and then get into the craft video. Dear God, thank you so much that we learned so much more about you and how we do not need to fear because you are there and we must trust in you, Lord. Thank you for keeping us safe every week and always providing for us. Amen. Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Craft Time. Wasn't that an amazing story about Mary? We saw that no matter how afraid she got or how difficult things got, she kept on trusting in God. So for today's craft, we will be making an angel to always remind us to put our trust in God and to stay faithful. For today's craft, you will need paper plates, some glue, glitter, 
scissors and a pencil. Start off by folding your paper plates in half. Grace is trying to phone you. So after you're done folding your paper plates in half, take a pencil and just draw a slight line from the top to the middle. Once you're done, you can just take it and cut it across. These are the wings of the angel and this will be the bottom of the angel. So what you can do is you can take some glue and glue it to the bottom. Once you're done, it should look like this. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your other paper plate and fold it in half and you're going to draw a half circle around so you can cut it and make a head. Once you're done, your head should look like this and you can just stick it on the top of your angel. The next thing that you're going to do is to put glue on the side and to decorate your angel with some glitter. So when you're done, your angel should look like this and you can now take it home or give it to your mom or your dad or even your friend. Um, I hope you guys had fun making your angels. Don't forget, whenever you look at it, always remember to trust in God.